Um, my first question is for Cassie. How involved were you uh, with the production on set? I was not very involved with the production on set. Um, I was somewhat involved with, um, I was definitely involved with casting. And I was definitely involved with sort of talking with Mick G about things like sort of overall tone and, you know, definitely, um, you know, he would call me, but you get to realize that every episode is directed by a different director and there's no way for me to meet them all <laughs> or like establish a relationship with them. So they work with the writer's room that's, you know, there and, they, and you know, like I, when I got on set, I, they were like, hey, here's Clary's bedroom. And I was like, looks great. Here's the Institute. Looks great. And they were like, here's the nuclear reactor. And I was like, well, I don't know what that's for, but okay. You know, so there's a, there's a good amount of it that I like, you know, know. And then there's a amount of it that's clearly like, Ed, you know, largely the showrunner's vision and where they've decided to kind of take the characters and what they've decided to do. So um, I think that as a readership, we're going to, definitely going to be taken on a, a ride. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fairly put. And I think what people got to understand is, I mean, she wrote the books. And in television, television is a showrunner's medium. It's not a director's medium. It's a showrunner's medium, and I say that with the greatest respect to the showrunners. I mean, if you like Game of Thrones, it's, you know, it's Benioff and Weiss. Those guys are doing their thing, man, and the buck stops with them. And, you know, our guy's Ed Dector, and he's doing the best he can, and I, I believe he did a great many things right, and he's trying to interpret the essence of what she put forward. And I think there'll be some passionate conversation along the way about, oh, this is more of this, and the nature of uh, Magnus's magic is this, and the, spot, and the more glitter, you know, and what have you. But that that's what makes a horse race, and we look forward to it all. And I think what matters most is the fandom understands we are really, really trying, and we really, really respect them. And furthermore, I reflect on the first season, I'm dating myself, of Seinfeld. They hadn't really found their rhythm yet. You know what I mean? And then they went on to find the rhythm, and that's the beauty of television, that it evolves. As we have this conversation, we have not even finished the pilot episode yet. What I, I'm studying all of you, so I'm garnering clues of what I can do to go back and take it higher still. So it, it's, it's very, very amorphous, and it continues to evolve. And uh, if we don't like it, I suggest we tackle Ed Dector. That's great.